Why not seed Colombia? You can't use seed Colombia unless you're attacking someone who has a colonial nation in that region. This is just a native, so it's just regular conquest. Like if I look at it, um, it's not going to show up as an option. Gain a cardinal. We have six cardinals right now. I think not. Discounted level three diplo guy. We already have a discounted guy, but he might come in handy as a backup. So there is no like. Oh, maybe there is. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Weird. Whoops. We can also make him into a Spanish vassal at the same time. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. I swear that wasn't the case in the past, but uh, neat. So have a loan to pay off. Truce of Mantua is done. Pancakes and coffee is pouring almost everything. They don't appear to have they don't appear to have enough admin points to core this, so we need to stop feeding them quite so much land for the moment. <clears throat> Royal marriage with France is over. He's got a 653. And he has a babby. But of course he does. I swear we're never going to get a personal union, ever. It's just not going to happen. Can't you get a 50% Abin guy from his states? Uh, we could get a discounted guy, but that would push the burgers too influential. And the thing about these clicks is I typically avoid them. Ever since they made the change where you can go above 80% influence, I don't like to do these clicks because they last 30 years. Unlike Grant Admiralship, which is only 10, or um, Grant Monopoly Charters, which is only 20, Grant New World Charter, which is 10, a 30-year modifier can cause problems. So I typically, I try to avoid these clicks now, if I can. You uncheck that, otherwise they're going to stop drilling while we're at war. Alright, we have 62 war score. Do we have the same thing here? See, what's weird is I don't understand this. Wait. I guess the restriction is you have to have a colonial nation there already. Is that it? That must be it. So we do want to create a new colonial nation in this region. Um, in colonial Peru. We can take Tumbez, because that's just going to go to Pancakes and Coffee. Then, beyond that, we want to take the five cheapest, lowest development provinces, so we pay the fewest admin points, just so that we can spend less. 13 there, 10 there, 3 there. So we can go 1, 2, 3. We ideally don't want to take this, because it's inland, we can't core it right away. So I guess, let's just take the five provinces on the coast, so we can core everything right away. Even though it's not going to be the cheapest. We'll come back for the rest of the next war. We're debt free! It's like Great Britain formed the 13 colonies. We have almost prepared for the Reconquista. You excited? I'm excited. We're, we're almost at our force limit, except then we did, we have to get to 60% of our manpower pool, so... That'll take a while, too. Next Splendor bonus, we've got... Floating batteries, religious wars, uh, at this point, yes, why not Spanish Tercios? That does sound pretty good. 
Spanish Tercios is minus 3% shock damage received, so this is obviously like the point where we are the absolute strongest in the game. Especially if we start stacking up all the morale modifiers and stuff. Okay, colonist. Let's uh let's finish. Look at that, he is colonizing. Good, good job, Portugal. Now Portugal's still Catholic, so. He can't get Treaty of Tordesius here though. Because he's he lives there. <laughs> Kick out the Maltese, why not? Why not ship propagation? Because ship propagation is probably one of the most weak age bonuses ever. The way the math works on ship trade power propagation is you would assume that 20% of your ship's trade power gets propagated to every node upstream, but that's not how it works. 20% uh, of 20% gets propagated, so 4% of your trade power gets propagated everywhere, which is really dumb. So it's just super, super weak. Expel Andalusians to satisfy the mission? Okay, fair enough. We have our third colonial nation. It is not New Mexico. It is... What? What? Pancakes and burritos, maybe? Pan pancakes and... Tacos? Let's stick with the pancakes and theme, because it's what we've already done. Pancakes and tequila. Oh, I like that. So we've got pancakes and rum, and now pancakes and tequila. Maybe we should rename pancakes with coffee to, like... Pancakes and... Aguardiente. <laughs> we do like an all rum theme. All booze theme. Naked. Because tequila makes people's clothes fall off. Alright, so we're gonna take this army... Here. Minus two infantry. And I wanna, I wanna transport them to here. Protestant zealots are mad in this province of Savoy. Owned by our subject Savoy. Is Savoy Protestant? No. Okay, so we're gonna core these five to create a new colonial nation. Tumbez is gonna go to our colonial nation in a second. There it goes. League War did fire, and we were not involved, and it caused the Protestant League to absolutely annihilate the Catholic League. Like, completely destroyed them. Bohemia got... Mm, it was it was gross. Alright, so we're colonizing here. Bandy needs to be complete, then we need to build like a temple there for one of the missions, and then we'll get more claims on Mexico. For now, we don't have claims up here, so actually we should just focus on this part of colonial Mexico. So, why don't we just have these ships... Like, come here and we'll land in... somewhere. Okay, how can we pick this group apart? You are allied to Chuck them all. You are allied to that guy. It's all Mexico. This guy's allied to someone who won't defend him, therefore, war deck. Refuse to aid traitors or lose honor gold. Uh, ah, it's fine, it's just gold. Here's the new heavy. The nine are in Sevilla, so hunt pirates in Sevilla. Eventually they'll merge up, and then we'll have ten and ten, which is great. Still just spending all of our manpower on regulars, trying to get our our army up to its force limit, and then we can drill a lot and slacken standards and stuff. In fact, I think we'll slacken standards for now. I just want to 
get done with this. Hey, we're actually on track to beat our force limit. Cool. Actually, we're going to exceed it. Oops. Let's cancel that. Ah, oh, damn. Is it doing that thing where it's queuing up, like, regular troops behind boats and crap? I hate it when it does that. Boats take so long. How do I always have so much money? Because I, I play the game. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Because I operate on the principle of trying to make 30 to 40 percent gross income relative to... Sorry, 30 to 40 percent net income relative to gross income, therefore I have lots of money. Oh, fantastic. No one wants to defend this guy? Fantastic. Time to declare war. Where is our Conquistador? He's down here. What we can do is, if we appoint the Conquistador to this army, we can just march through here without getting military access. Common enemies in the Ottoman Empire. Sure. Indeed. We're no longer world renowned. Time for debates. Another merchant. Make the clergy loyal. Guarantee religious minorities. Ultra conversion costs. Quartering of troops. Land maintenance. Land attrition. Hmm. I'd rather have the colonist, but the clergy are, like, real mad, and I can't make them happy easily. If we had land to grant to them, we could make them happy, possibly. Influence from land is at 18%, which is not too crazy. I'd have to grant a lot to make them loyal. Does culture conversion cost affect expel minorities? It does, but it affects it... Uh, we don't have... For whatever reason, culture conversion cost does not show up in this list ever, under any circumstance, which is really weird. We do have discounted culture conversion costs from the Holy Orders. So it would stack additively with this. So right now we have culture conversion minus 30, it would become culture conversion minus 45, which does decrease the cost, but it's not significant enough, I think, to justify taking it. What I really want is the colonist. Which is why I'm trying to make the clergy loyal, so this one drops off, so we can pull, hopefully get the colonist. For now, we'll just go with the merchant. It's fine. Whose papal influence is fine. Whose legitimacy is fine. Placating merchants is dangerous. Bribing is possible, but the least the one that I don't want to do. Nine Evan points is fine. Build the master recruiter. Build the master recruiter. Don't want to lose government reform progress. Military power is fine. I'd rather do Diplo points than bribe the MP, it's dangerous. And then I guess we do have to do one bribe. And our new merchant will go to here, even though in the past I've made the argument that there's no point. Well, there's enough people boosting trade actually that we don't need to, do we? Other people are already steering it this direction, so they're increasing outgoing value. Uh, let's go back to... Go to here. Aren't additive modifiers better to stack when they're negative? Yes, but you have to approach zero to like really make them go nuts. Did he have his fort mothballed? He did not. That is just a 10 infantry stack, but... I want these guys to come up to here so that I can use them, and then we'll leave behind just 10 infantry down here to police this whole area. Truce of Naples is up. I mean, he was excommunicated, so there's an opportunity to go attack him right now. Gain 20 Papal Influence and get discounted Establish Holy Order cost, minus 20%. Yes. I like that, sure. Our chance to become the next Curia Controller is still uh, 23%, which is okay. I think we do want to start building up our... I don't like Recover Morale, uh, Recover Manpower, 
But I'm going to take it just so we can try to satisfy that Granada mission. We're going to go from $4.99 per month to a massive $5.53 per month. I'm confused. We literally just got this event. <laughs> I don't think it stacks. How can you get that event twice? That's weird. Now trading in glass. Let's get on to 10. Papal sanction. Oh, of course. Papal sanction for increased taxes just dropped off. Or as I spent my points. Crap. Alright, we should keep an eye out for other people we can declare war on if they're going to be betrayed by their allies, just so we can keep them all isolated. The more people we can just have in, like, little one-on-one -on -one wars, the easier it'll be. Alright. You've been getting some events twice in a row recently, too? Hmm. Well, nothing's really changed, so I can't imagine that it's a bug. Because this patch has been live for a long time. You're pulling in... Trot Trotzel. This is going to be a hotbed of rebellion for a while. Our, our new colonial nation, Mr. Pancakes and Tequila is going to have a hard time with this, but uh, let's convert it for him first, actually, even though he can't core it, just so that he... Actually, I think that once it gets transferred to him, it'll cancel our missionaries. And they're already instantly trying to core it. We're going to want to build forts to these guys. At least basic forts in their capital, just so that they're not stupid weak and get killed all the time. They're going to have plenty of income, I think. He's got a fort in Quito. Uh, we have a fort here. That's all going to become a colonial nation. I wanted to build a fort in Ch this mountain for him. But now I'm out of money. Can't ever move? It's a still image. I don't really care if he becomes Protestant, that's fine. Not my problem, sir. Alright, this guy is going to bring in an ally, but the ally's really small and weak, so that's acceptable, I think, after one of these other sieges is done. Perfect. Gotta murder all the Mexicans. Amy's gone bankrupt. I wanted a fort in Mountain. Alright. 100% with you. This is also going to Mexico. He's gonna have some difficulty coring some of this crap, but I don't care. We have our entire army here, so it's not a big deal, right? Like, we can... We can force him to... 
just force feed him. He can go to like 500% overextension. I don't care. It's gonna happen. Establish blockade on this side now. Hopefully this guy's got war score cost below 100. Nope. Of course, we have reduced war score costs versus other religions. So that... Doesn't... Ah, we stopped being Asturias, that's right. So we don't have the minus 15 anymore. Damn. That was one really good modifier from Asturias. I have to admit. The colony has to fully core provinces to use the Holy Order click? Sure, but... So? I don't need to use the Holy Order click anymore. The Holy Order click was only about the... the rum mission thing. And we're done with that now. Holy Order clicks are just like a nice thing if we can do them now. Look at this. Pancakes with rum. 1066. No leader, but that's a pretty good army. Yeah, ideally we wanna like take all of his coastline. And then we wanna like prevent him from having any adjacency to his neighbors. That might be reasonable. Oh, I do need to use Holy Orders in Mexico for a mission? Alright, well, we have plenty of time. There's there's so many other achievements that we have to do, like, so many other missions that... Enjoy your ridiculous overextension, Mr. Subject. Now I want you to, like, ally someone else so I can immediately attack you again, please. 